guys and welcome back to my channel today I am organizing my bathroom I am at Ikea so I thought I would film a few clips for you guys before we get started <laughs> So now that we're back at home, this is my side and this is my husband's side. We have literally put our bathroom on the back burner. Ever since we moved in this house a year ago, we just put our products in the cabinets and drawers and just go from there. So I'm gonna take some time today to organize it. As you can see, we just kind of unpacked and just put stuff in the cabinets and drawers and it's just been the same way ever since we moved in. We don't have a ton of stuff um, because we did do a large declutter when we moved and then once we moved into this house, I still need to categorize everything and so that everything kind of makes more sense to me. It's really all about just how your brain works and what your routine is. Organize things that make sense to you. Okay guys, so this is my husband's side of the bathroom. That clear cube is actually mine and has all of my extra makeup in it that I don't use on a daily basis, but it will not fit in any of my cabinets because one set of my cabinets are way too narrow for that and then the other one under my sink just isn't deep enough it's fine because he doesn't have a bunch of products anyway and he doesn't care to but with all of that being said let's get started this clip is a little out of focus and i had no idea but as you can see i'm just cleaning the mirrors and countertops i took everything off so i can have like a clean slate and then i'm gonna move to the cabinets So here is where it gets a little crazy, but I'm just taking everything out of the cabinets and drawers and then after I take everything out, I'm just going to categorize everything so I know what goes in what bin. Underneon bright lights when you I see you dancing on the polar 
I am loving these bins from Ikea. They're crisp and clean and really spacious and I love that they're stackable. I actually own a few of these already. They are in our office so I picked up some more of these. They have more sizes and they also have another color so if you're interested go check these out and if you want to shop online I will have these linked below for you guys. So I got this mesh organizer from Bed Bath & Beyond and I'm going to use this for all of my hair products. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to take all of my nail polishes out of my jewelry box. Since they're not in the bathroom, I feel like I don't paint my nails as often as I'd like. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to put them all in a drawer in my bathroom. Now I'm just going to clean all of the drawers and cabinets now that everything is out and make sure everything is nice and clean before I start putting things back in. So I highly recommend using these easy liners to line your drawers and cabinets if you guys are renting or live in apartments. These are non-adhesive and you just cut them and just lay them down. It's really easy. I got this from Walmart and if I can't find it on the website, I will find one similar and link it down below. So I picked this five piece setup from Ikea. I love it. They have it displayed in all of their bathrooms pretty much in the drawers. So I want to see if they will fit in my drawers in the bathroom. So I plan on putting all of my cotton rounds in cotton balls and Q-tips and things like that in here. So as you can see, there are three small compartments and one long one and then there's one large compartment that stores all of those in there and they did not fit in my drawers. I am so upset. They fit in my drawers without the top, but with the top, they don't fit. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Okay guys, I thought I was going to use this little three piece drawer thing that I already had, but at the end you guys will see that I did not end up using this and I used something else instead that I like much better, so stay tuned. So I'm using one of the acrylic organizers from that set that I showed you. I'm going to put it on my husband's side to put Q-tips in. So here's some of the pieces from that five piece set that I showed you guys. I have it on my counter for now, but I don't like it on my counter. But since the tops aren't working with the drawers, I might have to leave the top off. So we'll see. Okay guys, so here's one last look of the boring before and here is after. It's organized and I know where everything is. I'm not worried about using all of the vertical space in the cabinets because I don't have that much stuff to where I need 
to stack multiple bins. So I'm just showing you guys what's in my little mesh organizer. All of my hair products are in there. And then this is just all of my body stuff like lotions and extra like skincare products. Not many things at all. I can see everything I have and underneath is just my travel makeup bag. Make sure you're putting things in the bottom that you won't need until a specific time like traveling or sunscreen. I just made sure I put all of my travel makeup bags in that bin so when I start packing I know where to go. Okay so here's the other cabinet. The only thing in there was the blow dryer and feminine products. It's clean and I know what's in there. I just put all of my hot tools in there and then I have some nail products right here that won't fit in the drawer. So here's the countertop. That rotating thing right there is where I keep all of my everyday makeup and skincare. As you saw earlier, I just cleaned it off really good before I started organizing. So I ended up using those organizers without the tops and I just stored the tops in a different drawer and I'm using them to hold my cotton rounds and q-tips. I'm using this drawer to hold all of my face towels and this drawer I just have serums, face masks, my charger to the Clearasonic and like a hand scrub and then I put all of my feminine products in the drawer after that. So moving on to the next set of drawers, this drawer at the very top has my toothpaste and like mouthwash and my deodorant, just like everyday little essentials. I made sure I kept these things at the top. So all of my hair accessories are in this drawer right here. That little empty section right there is for my hair ties, which I need to restock. And I love that I didn't even need to line this drawer because all of these little compartments fit in there perfectly. These are from the Dollar Tree and you guys need to pick these up if you see them because they are amazing. So I've downsized to just a couple of brushes and a comb. I got all of my nail polishes in this last drawer and all of my nail stickers and just nail supplies and I'm really loving it in here. I got that little organizer from Walmart and it fits perfect. So here's my husband's side before and here it is after. Since I added organization under the sink, I was able to take a lot of that stuff off of the sink and put it underneath. Um, I used some more of those pieces from that five piece set for floss picks and Q-tips. So here's a little before in case you guys forgot. It just looks like a huge jumbled mess really unorganized but here is the after so i have this little door organizer just to hold all of the essentials because there are no drawers on this side and then i have these little stackable bins that i got from target i already had these and i just put his everyday products and items on the top and things he doesn't need to access every day on the bottom last but not least his toiletry travel bags are in the back behind my clear cube so my goal was to keep everything looking really simple, clean, and I wanted all of my products to be shown so I'm not missing out on anything. And I like how it turned out. So I hope you guys got some motivation to organize a space in your home. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.